Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this Friday the 13th of Friday the 13th nights. It could have been worse, could have been worse. But it started with uh, going to the day job, realizing I didn't have my badge to get into the building, finally got into the building. And then the work that was supposed to be done yesterday wasn't done. The machine kept eating the checks when I tried to deposit them. And then I realized, why am I so itchy? Oh, shirt was on backwards. People were sending invoices in to make their payment without the payment inside of them. And then I get home, reached into my pocket. Oh, and what? I have the mailbox key <laughs> for work still in my pocket. I've got to put it back. <laughs> but I'm here and I'm excited because this is Lucifer season one, episode 13. Sometimes I wish Netflix would just put the Lucifer title there. Nothing about nothing about because i saw the thumbnail about this and i'm already about i'm gonna wet my pants i'm about ready to wet my pants so i'm excited we're just gonna dive in just gotta dive in and get to it so if you're watching this on patreon thank you so much we're gonna sync up our copies together push play we're gonna get comfortable what am i drinking ah i also discovered the local there's a whole foods next to my house now now i didn't know it was there because i've only gone this direction not that direction so i picked up a cherry lime italian soda don't know about it yet we'll see if it grows on me but let me know what you're drinking and hit subscribe because i would appreciate it <gasps> okay let's just get to <laughs> let's just get to it hello lucifer <laughs> um he'll still feel the pain he'll still feel the pain if it were that easy to kill me i'd have been dead a long time ago <laughs> Is he trying to scare him to death? Have you tried grenade down the throat? Yes. Really? Acid really? Mm-hmm. Really? Devoured by wolves. Yes. Dropped into helicopter blades. When? I've been trying to kill myself since the Bronze Age. Even jumped into a volcano once. Wow. Yeah, it was a rough six months. It's just whatever I do, I just regrow. Regrow? If I cut you exactly in half, would there be two pierces? No. Regrow. Only one side would heal. You see, I call it the, the master molecule theory. Yes, Where... yes, Wolverine rules, I get it. Oh. <laughs> Lucifer, why do you care so much about this? Because, because he wants to with his father. Forever, so killing you would be an epic loogie in the old man's eye. You must have something shockingly evil up your sleeve. Something like this. Oh, was that a demon blade? Did that paralyze him? This is kidney bleeding. Time to say goodbye to Hollywood. I don't think it's gonna be that simple. I should have known that you wouldn't be able to figure this out. Well, I mean, the good news is we've got all the time in the world to do so. <laughs> and what if the world stops existing? You know, meteor... Nuclear war wipes out everything. This street seems so familiar. Yeah, well, it should. We took a look at that house right there on the corner. Remember? Ah. Oh. Great public schools, really safe neighborhood. Until now. Until now. We're not. Wow. June Lee, 34, local chemistry teacher. She lived right down the block. The forestry service left a wood chipper here overnight, and someone took advantage. Yeah, they did. Who would do this to poor June? Well, I'm hoping that you all could help me with that. Um, and Chloe, you're doing this questioning right, right there, right there. I grab him like this and then I stab him with my blade. This is for anything with horns. Oh, goody. So I... <laughs> oh, goody. Then, <laughs> with her blade. Blade. <laughs> Must be some way to snuff this candle. Decker makes you killable, right? Why don't you see what's going on there? Ooh, so you need to find the Decker for Cain. Your father is all about mind games and loopholes, remember? Yes, perhaps you're right, Mace. If I should find out what makes Pierce vulnerable, get inside his head. Not with the cranial saw. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. Maybe. He needs some therapy with Dr. Linda. Find out what his core is, his essence. What is Kane's essence? 
Why is my couch in the middle of my office? And why why is Lucifer Lucifer needs glasses? How are you feeling? Oh, oh he is doing it, Dr. Linda. <laughs> Body language suggests you're quite upset. <laughs> Don't worry. This is a safe place. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Of the mystery of how to kill you if I don't understand you first. Your strengths, your weaknesses. Strengths. Because <laughs> everyone has a kryptonite, Lieutenant. <laughs> kryptonite. So much goodness. So much goodness. I'm not a sharer. So unless you have something that's case related, hmm. we're done talking. Maybe that's his vulnerability. He recovered a finger, ran a print. Uh, turns out Jun Lee isn't Jun Lee. Oh. According to public records, she died three years ago. Ooh. You know, the lieutenant has a lot of experience in fake deaths. You must Ooh. mean because <laughs> I came up through missing persons in Chicago. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In my experience, people who fake their own death are running from something or someone. Right, something or someone that scares them. Mm -hmm. Or that they've injured in some capacity. Sandra definitely could have been running. Check her rap sheet. Possession of narcotics and distribution. I'm not your typical gangbanger. Uh, that's because she's not a gangbanger. Is she under witness protection? Found uh, recipes for synthetic chemical compounds, all filed under the label K-pop. It's a mm. kind of music, right? Oh, Daniel, mm -hmm. Daniel, so behind the times. K-pop is a kind of ecstasy. I wonder if K-pop is still on the market. Well, it was as of last Tuesday. Oh, oh, it's wonderful stuff. Yeah, it makes your skin feel like a baby chinchilla. Catch. And... Uh... <laughs> Catch. Might know where to find some. Oh, absolutely. Yes, and I'd be happy to guide you on your role, detective. No. So why was it available until last Tuesday? Maybe that's why she's dead. Yes, I'm trying to solve it. You smell that? Axe body spray. Dude. Does anyone wear Axe body spray on purpose? Like that's their go-to scent. I'm Lucifer's friend. Oh, so we're friends. You were a monstrous bitch and I hated you. Ah, uh, that's not the same yeah, person. No, something's not the same person. Different. Right? Cause it's not the same person, Moose. You smell incredible. What um, exactly did you say our relationship was? Shh. Don't talk. I will definitely be back. What is happening? What? What is happening? He's sticking around LA. Kind of convinced him to stay. Oh, don't be foolish. The man's clearly staying for me. <laughs> it's just the way he delivered that line. Two house specials, please. Lucifer, you know I don't drink on the job. Oh, it's not a drink, pumpkin. Two house specials. <gasps> oh, the dealer is working for Lucifer? Well, you think I hired him for abs alone? <laughs> Where'd you get the K-pop? I get it from the Korean power. Bestie in town. Or used to be. Sad but true. What changed? Their cook. He wouldn't know that. A genius lady chemist, but I heard she got greedy. She stole from the Korean power. Wow, all this wealth of information right in Lucifer's pocket. Do you know this boss's name or where we can find him? Brandon Hall. And he gave that up quite easily. But these guys don't mess around. Right, well. They don't mess around, so I'm going to give up where they are right now, my, distrib my supplier. I'm going to give up my supplier. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? This is a ruthless drug lord with who knows how many armed thugs. You can't just walk in there, Mr. Bartender might, and say, Hello, drug dealers. I would never do that. Oh, is he going on his own? Young, Mike, son. <laughs> I'm Lucifer, morning star, but don't worry, I'm here alone. The police raid won't happen for a few more hours. Wow. Oh, we're getting a hallway fight scene with K-pop music. <laughs> well, this is unexpected. 
Oh! <laughs> oh, pumpkin, you're not cut out for the thug life. And he's probably damaging a rival club at the same time. Bonus! And now you are gonna help me. <laughs> Mr. Hong, thank you for coming in. How did you know that we wanted to speak to you? I run the Korean power. Okay. We are a criminal organization specializing in extortion and drug dealing. Why would she get back in contact with you? To pay the money back with interest. Yeah, I find that hard to believe. You and your guys, you aren't necessarily known for your kindness. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Our profits went down over 40% when we lost her formula. So she was worth more to you alive than dead. Ooh. Oh, um, I've instructed my guys to cooperate. You know, alibis and stuff are the nice Sanjo. Stealthy. 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 What did you do to him? Nothing. Just made him a deal. Hmm. In exchange for his cooperation, I gave him the formula we found on Sandra's computer. I mean, a few years in prison is just a small price to pay for doubling your profits with a superior product. Wow! If what he says is true, he's not even a suspect. The way they are weaving this together. You know about Sandra's criminal past. Yes, but what about her criminal present? Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's not connecting. Oh, Lucifer, please don't mess with it. What does this do, anyway? <laughs> We're gonna break it. It does help to know what you're looking for. What is happening? Well, those client lists. Ooh. One angry one, maybe. And now what you're doing, end it or you're dead. And she can't... <laughs> Actually, it's not ecstasy. It's more sort of a homebrew Adderall. It's very smooth. Smooth. Did your partner just admit to snorting evidence? <laughs> That's what he was doing. Product for new environment. <laughs> type A moms, high pressure dad. And ah, so she was. Death threat suggests that someone didn't want those drugs in the neighborhood. Or they wanted all the drugs in that neighborhood. All right, get close to the neighbors. See who you can smoke out. And there is a house for rent on Sandra's block. However, the owner will only rent to couples. Too, but I canvass the entire neighborhood. They know I'm caught. So find another officer with knowledge of this case to go undercover. Oh, don't worry. We already have. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm Brian. This is my wife, Anya. Hey. Thank you. That is so... Look at the spider. Honey, we have guests. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mark. Mark, please let it be Rick or Steve. Please let it be Rick or Steve. <laughs> oh, did they invite the couple in for dinner? Nope. <laughs> What are we, barbarians? Don't they have any china in there? You know this isn't real, right? Me? Oh, they're in the living room? Okay. This wow. is my chance to really get to know you. And his, the way his little comb over here, do you? Just don't give me your resting pierce face. What face? <laughs> oh. Your biology partner. <laughs> I think I, Rose. You, how'd you two meet? At work. We met through my dad. Mm-hmm. How sweet. Well, not really. My dad's a right bastard. <laughs> Came out. Well, let's not start with that. <laughs> with these nice people, Luke. Luke! Oh! Luke. Smells <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh, come on, Pierce. Just play along for half a second. You're still on a case. Just work the case. Not Lucifer's case, the other case. After the past few months, normal is exactly what I need in my life. Oh, hello, Maze. What's up, Dan? Uh, hello. Why are you here, Maze? Isn't it obvious? Mm -hmm. Uh, sorta? The three of us. What? What? Did we? Oh, no. No, 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 we didn't. No. But if you wanted to, 
Um, now, whatever. You're Dan, into, you're digging yourself into a hole. Can be empowering because I've been reading this uh, mm. feminist social. Dan, if she is. Uh, so, okay, can I have another drink, please? Thank you. Something with ice, something with ice. Yes, yes, it must have been devastating when that poor woman was found ground up like hamburger meat. Yeah, it was horrible, huge loss. We're, we're kind of one big family around here. Why is he holding her neck like that? Ah, come on, babe. The guys don't want to hear about that, right? We're here to welcome them. Hear about what? The neighborhood watchdog. <laughs> Someone has been writing notes and terrorizing the block. Uh, trim your hedges or else. Or else? People have been getting notes for all kinds of things. Uh, loud music, parking, holiday decor. Remember, we have to get up early for that thing tomorrow. The thing. No idea what you're talking about, darling. <clears throat> Can Pierce get drunk? <laughs> Maze, wow. She needs to take a breath. Just take a breath. Truth is, I've been through hell lately. That's it. No wonder I wanted. Cause she smells like hell. I can smell it on you. The pain, the torment. What, it's that obvious? Wow. Wow. This is so intriguing. Guess I'm out. Oh, you are? I just told you my deepest secret. I don't think that's her deepest secret. I thought it was you I was attracted to, but turns out it's just my old life. Hey, but Dan's probably still into it, though. Okay. <laughs> Who's in the car? Oh, Chloe. <laughs> I thought it was a murderer. And those notes sound just like the one we found in Sandra's stash. So she was listening to their conversation, though. Whole time. How do we draw out this watchdog? You just sit in the car. Trust me, no one's a worse neighbor than the devil. <gasps> He's gonna have a party. In the front yard. Wow. Wow. With the door open. Were you building something? Yes. Nope. Our reputation is the most annoying neighbors on the block. It's 4 a.m. Maybe we can <gasps> finish this in the morning. It is the morning. Is Chloe still listening? Guys, someone's approaching the house. You just need to... Oh, oh no. That won't solve anything. Guys, Everyone heads has up. their Achilles heel. We just need to find. <gasps> Hello. Have you come for your casserole dish? So it's the. This better be him, otherwise they just gave away themselves. The police should be thanking me. I'm out there. Oh, was he the guy putting the notes? He was putting a note in the thing. He was putting a note in the. Th Mailbox, you know that word. You're out there, you're trying to keep your neighborhood clean, and then June's there dealing drugs. What, you think I was trying to get June to stop dealing drugs? I was her best customer. <laughs> Me and half the block, how do you think I had the energy to be out there? I learned Mandarin. What? I built a deck around my, I, I lost 40 pounds. Wow. So you're saying you didn't write that threatening note? No, that's not even my hand. It's his wife. It's so sloppy. It's, you know what? Thank God that this marriage is over. Guys. Brian's not our killer, but your cover is still intact. Oh, it is. It's still you know, intact. ready to go back to suburbia? No. <laughs> it's still intact. Uh, how's this angle, detective? Oh, they're throwing a garden party. Make sure you put the guest book where I can see it. Don't worry. Oh. so far away from the crew today. Oh, that made my day. That made my day. Why do I feel like I'm the only one putting any effort into anything? Probably because you're making everything about you. <laughs> okay, 
case you've forgotten, I am doing this for you. Really? Yes. The only reason I'm here is because I have to be. Oh, Everything else geez. is just an empty promise. Wow, fellas. Fellas. You say you're a man of your word. You're not. Excuse me. Oh, he's got a cook there. <laughs> Distracted. What the hell are you guys doing back there? His little cuffs are up on his pants. Pierce is never going to be the guy who cares about where the hummus is. But he does care about what matters. Like solving this case. He can't do it without you. He knows that. Does he? Yes, he does. You moved the nachos. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't want anyone to spill salsa into, into the, the macaroni. macaroni. <laughs> Wasn't sure you were coming back. I made you a promise, and I am a man of my word, no matter what you may think. I may have overreacted. I'm sorry. You were right about one thing. I don't have all the answers. I mean, after all, you may be the only person on this planet who truly understands me. I'm not ready to give up on that. <laughs> How many people record? <laughs> For the chef. <laughs> Lovely. Would you mind working the word pervert? <laughs> Subtle. You address it to scheming hall. <laughs> this is a little private joke for Mark. <laughs> Brian said he signed for us both already. Oh. Would like everyone to write a little message if you don't mind. Oh. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's time for us to go. Do you oh. They let him go. They let him go. If though he was. But they didn't hide him for like half the second, like. No, 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 I know what you guys are trying to do here. Brian, hey, Brian just relax, okay? Just calm down, make it easy. He's gonna spill the beans. Everybody get back, everyone get back, all right? What about hedge trimmers? Tried it, didn't work. Put it down, Brian. Huh? <gasps> Jeez, Chloe. I didn't want to hurt anybody. And I know you don't want to hurt anyone right now. Yeah, people leave. Oh, they want to see the spectacle. You're just protecting one. Mm-hmm. You know? How could you do something so stupid, babe? I know that you and June were having an affair. No. I thought I would just write her one of those notes to scare her off, but then you still kept sneaking out. And then you went and confronted her. I didn't mean to kill her. I just, I just didn't want you to leave me. Well, now you're gonna be apart for a while. June was his drug dealer. It's true. I was buying pills from her for you so that I could go back to being the guy that you fell in love with in high school. This has taken a turn. I'm so sorry I doubted you. I don't know what I would do without you. Well, now we're going to find out. I just wanted to come by and apologize uh, about the other night. <laughs> you have nothing to apologize for. Actually, no, she I does not. I completely blame Maze. And a smidge of you two, Dan. So, I heard the divorce went through. What are you going to do with your half a Lux? Very funny, Decker. <laughs> going down to the paddock for beers after work, and I thought you might want to join. Listen, Chloe, you and I, it's not a good idea. Oh, he's going, oh, he just, right, right to the point. We deal with death every day, and everybody's going to die. Someday you'll die, and I just... Yeah, I understand. I do. And about tonight, it's not a big deal. And he's your boss. He's your boss. Just so I know that I'm not crazy, um, in the surveillance van, we did have a moment there, yeah? We did share a moment, which is why I had to tell you that I'm not relationship material. For what it's worth, it's a really nice moment. So With your boss. <laughs> now, it did take 
a few a little bit of time before Lucifer became vulnerable. I was really Maybe. looking forward to sleeping far away from you tonight. Pierce just needs to well. I finally got you figured out. You're terrified of letting someone get close to you because you know they'll eventually leave you. You'll outlive them. Mm -hmm. You want to die because you don't want to be alone anymore. Oh, yes, yes. You see, I don't think you've been spending time with me trying to figure out how to kill me. I think you want to spend time with someone who's been screwed by your dad as much as you've been. Mm hmm. You are the one that doesn't want to be alone. Both could be true. I get you. No, you don't. I mean, you've been on the earth what five years you'll see mm, that is a perspective okay so we both have some issues that we need to work through. get linda get linda we've got to be committed i've already married you i'm not sure how much <laughs> more committed i could be true but there are so many things that we never got to try fine go get the chainsaw I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> He'll have to heal from it. How long does it take for him to regenerate? <sighs> so it still feels as if Chloe has taken a good side back seat to this season. She's there. But she doesn't feel there. She just feels around. There were so many little gems to this episode. Lucifer doing the Dr. Linda with the glasses even. Their sweaters at the little house. The fight. The kiss. Hilarious. Maze being extra horny. Almost went like too far. Like this, like the joke was getting a little stale. I kind of got it. But it was almost too much. And the Dan and Charlotte relationship. Interesting. But why Dan? Hmm. So Dan told her they never slept together. Although they did. But I guess what would it. What would it mean if he told Charlotte that they had slept together when she didn't remember? I guess that could make it weird. But it might make her feel a connection. I don't know. The whole situation is weird. I get it. It's all weird. So you deal with weird the best you can. <laughs> but it is intriguing. So how are we going to kill King? We need to find his vulnerability. He's afraid of being alone. So he makes himself be alone. But he's been... So that would suggest, though, that he's been attached to people in the past. Still tried to kill himself and it didn't work. Is that what we're hinting at? The one thing that I'm positive isn't going to happen, although I wish it does. But I don't know if we'll get as many glorious little gems going forward as we did in this episode. Because they set it up. It was right for the picking. And it was delightful. It was so delightful. And the only thing that makes me sad is that I can never see this again for the first time. Oh, it made me a day. Okay. So we're halfway through. More story to tell, more things to solve, um, such as is Chloe gonna be a big, bigger impact the second half of the season? I hope so, because she's there for a reason. I would like her there to be for more of a, oh yeah, that's why you're here, <laughs> reason. So thank you so much for joining me for this adventure. As always, please just take care of yourself. This is a reminder to stretch, stretch your bodies. Oh my, stretch. It's important. It is so important. And then um, you're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.